Hi everyone, my video will be about a tutorial on how to clean a chinchilla's cage. I have two chinchillas, but this tutorial applies for both cages and what really whatever kind of cage that you have for your chinchilla. The chinchilla's cage that we will be cleaning is Ophelia's. Ophelia is a chinchilla that I got from PetSmart and she's different than other chinchillas. Ophelia has some behavioral problems and she's larger than other chinchillas, but we love her. So the first thing you're going to want to do is clean the room that the chinchilla will be let out in and will be running around in. So this includes picking up any wires, boxes, really anything that they can get into, um, wrappers, anything that they will take and try to eat that you do not want them to eat. The second thing that you need to do is gather your supplies in which you'll be using to clean the chinchilla's cage. So whether that's wipes, spray, washcloths, anything you use to clean your chinchilla's tray. And this is what I have for The chinchilla mine. cleaning supplies that I have been using is the Clean Cage uh, K-18 Habitat Deodorizer. This is for cleaning and refreshing small animals cages and accessories. I also use the Nature's Miracle small animal cage scrubbing wipes and this is really good for getting the dust up that might be in their cage. And then I've also invested in, since I've had chinchillas, a handheld vacuum that is really good for suctioning up the poop, um, little pellets that they leave behind that are literally everywhere. You will also need some kind of fabric or bedding to replace the old fabric in your chinchilla's cage. I get my fabric from Joanne's Fabric. It's the anti-pill fleece and I just cut it up into the measurements for her cage. Now that you have your vacuum, your cleaning supplies, and your bedding, it is time to let your chinchilla out. Every chinchilla is different than the next one, but with my chinchilla, I open it and she just jumps right out. Next, I'm opening the top of the cage and basically showing you what the entire cage looks like and now we're ready to clean. The next step is to clean and take everything out of the chinchilla's cage. So we're going to be taking her house out, anything that is removable, and taking it out and cleaning it. These are all the items in her cage that I have taken out. So now I'm just going to go right to left and explain the things that are in her cage and why they're in there. This uh, is what used to be a little tunnel for her. She loves to rip this up and play with it. Uh, clearly she's taken a lot of the wood pieces off, which is completely normal and completely healthy for her. This is a little hideout that she loves as well. She has chewed the bottom of it and a lot of the sides, but it's held on pretty strong. This is a little plaything for her. She loves to sit on top of this by her food bowl, chew on the wood sides, play with the wood in between. I mean, really, it's just like a fun house for her. These are all wooden toys and treats. This is an alfalfa hay treat that we give to her. She, chinchillas cannot have alfalfa hay in big amounts. They just can have them as little treats. These are all wood things for her to teeth on and to chew. This is what keeps her teeth down. And then here is a little stone rock that used to be uh, a lot bigger than this, but she loves this is her little logs she really just sits on these just kind of like a fun accessory and this is her house with the leftover hay that she's eaten and this is a granite slab um this really isn't useful in the winter but it stays in here in the summer we put them in the freezer and we freeze them and it keeps the chinchillas from getting too overheated because the granite stays cold now I'm going to take all of the bedding out and replace it with new bedding and what we're going to do is we're going to dump the little pieces of poop in the bottom because there is a sliding out tray that we will clean later. Now that you have all the bedding out you can start dumping it into this tray and I just hold it over the bottom level and dump it pretty much just shake it out. Now that all of the fabric is off we are going to take our spray 
Start spraying on every level and we're just gonna wipe everything off. I used an old piece of fabric for this now step. we're gonna take the bedding that we cut out and put it into the cage. What the cage looks like with all of the bedding in it and it is now ready to um, put new pellets in there for her and dump out the hay that is old and replace it with new hay. This is Ophelia chewing on the side of the wall and just playing around. You can play with them however you want. What you want to do is grab your trash can that you will be using. I got this from Ikea. And dump the remains of the salad or the pellets or whatever needs to be cleaned out. Rotate and clean the chinchilla's hay to make sure that it doesn't go moldy or it doesn't go bad. Um, hay is 70% of a chinchilla's diet, so it's very important for them to have fresh hay whenever they can. Um, I recommend using Timothy hay. Here is me taking the bedding out and replacing the old hay. I find it best to put her house in the cage first and replace it so the extra hay can just fall into her house and she can eat it up. Um, other than that, it just makes a big mess if you do it on the floor and it just seems easier this way. Next, we will be using the chinchilla salad mix to put some salad in her little bowl. This is just like a treat for them that you put on top of their hay. It gets them to eat the hay and it has just a bunch of really cool things in it. And when I do this, normally she comes running. Here she is. And we're just putting about two handfuls. Doesn't have to be perfect into there and we will set that out for her to eat while she plays. Now that we have refilled all the hay, it's time to put everything back in her cage and redecorate. She loves when I redecorate. It's just something strange about chinchillas. I put the salad at the very bottom of her cage so it entices her to go back in. And then you can see here me just refilling the pellets with one scoop, which is really all she needs. And now we are going to be preparing the dust bath. We are using this dust that is for chinchillas that I got from PetSmart and cleaning the old dust out. When you put the new dust in, I kind of just eyeball it to make sure that it fills the bottom and that it's about a centimeter. And then I wipe it on the top to make the dust sound and she comes running. And here she is taking her little bath. I then put her back in the cage when she was in the dust bath. That seems to be the easiest way for us since she does not like being picked up. And I closed the cage up and left that dust bath in there for five to 10 minutes so she can get clean. Chinchillas don't have sweat glands, so this is the way that they clean themselves and make sure that they stay dry. If they get wet, this is also very, very bad for chinchillas and they can die. Now I'm going to be taking the bottom out of the cage. I'm turning it so I can get the access to it. And this is the little tray that I was talking about before that we clean off. I just take it and I dump it in the trash. Then we're going to be vacuuming the floor for pellets and hay that we might have missed. This keeps everything clean and really, really good for the chinchillas. I then just take out the dust bath once the five to 10 minutes are up and she looks like she is done taking a bath and she should be just like a light gray, like this color. And then since she was such a good girl, she gets a Timothy Biscuit. Come here, Ophelia. Come here. She just comes up and snatches that little treat there. And since we have a baby that is growing, she gets one as well. Once you've given them the treats that enforces good behavior and going back into the cage, you can clean everything up, move everything, and basically you're done. So that will conclude my video. I hope it was informational for you. I forgot to mention that treats can be anything um, at the pet store that is for chinchillas, but you want to avoid small animal treats because that can be looped into things for rabbits that chinchillas cannot have, like pineapple or peas or things like that. 
but yeah i hope you have loved ophelia and i and we have loved spending time with you